we are living through a tale of two crises, COVID and racial justice, and President Trump has been a miserable failure at handling both of them. Last night, the scene in Washington, D.C., may have provided the enduring portrait of the Trump presidency. While peaceful, law-abiding citizens were exercising their constitutional right to protest in a public park across from the White House, President Trump ordered federal troops to clear those peaceful crowds with tear gas and rubber bullets so that he could trudge a few blocks from the White House to stand in front of a church, not to go inside, but for a photo op. The president's relentless need to make a weak man feel strong led him to order federal law enforcement officers to gas peacefully assembled Americans so he, so he could sneak his way to a church photo op. It led him to order federal officers to gas peacefully assembled Americans so that he could sneak his way to a church for a photo op. After the gas came the horses, a modern day cavalry with clearing the battlefield. The purpose? So President Trump could wave a Bible, not read a Bible, not even his Bible, as a prop. It was appalling. It was an abuse of presidential power. It may well have been illegal, and it was blatantly unconstitutional. The President of the United States ordered troops to attack peaceful American citizens, exercising their constitutional rights by tear gassing them in a public park while military helicopters flew overhead. The President must immediately cease this behavior the administration is using the military as a tool to intimidate American citizens. And the Department of Defense IG must immediately launch an investigation into how the U.S. military was used and whether it was consistent with the laws of our nation. After the President's reality show ended last night, while the nation nervously watched the chaos that engulfs us, President Trump probably laid in bed, pleased with himself for descending another rung on the dictatorial ladder. He probably wore out his remote control watching the clips of General Barr's victory over the unarmed battle, over, over the unarmed in the battle of Lafayette Square. Then he revealed, reveled in the sounds of Blackhawks flying overhead and joyously retweeted scores of preening sycophants. It's all so sad, so pathetic so weak.